tired of switching between your terminal and the browser for ChatGPT. Imagine having the power of ChatGPT right at your fingertips in your Linux terminal. That is where the CellGPT comes in. CellGPT is a fantastic tool that allows you to interact with the open AI GPT models directly from your Linux command line. It's like having a personal AI assistant right there in your Linux terminal. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to install and use CellGPT on Linux terminal. Before starting the installation, make sure following things are in place. We need a Linux system, can be a Debian or RHL based distribution, local user with sudo writes and internet connectivity. Let's deep dive into the actual steps. For the demonstration, I am using Ubuntu 24.04 LTS server. And for the interest of time, I have already prepared the set of steps that I will be using in this video tutorial. I will share these steps in the description of the video for your reference. The first step is to install Python 3, Python 3 hyphen pip and Python 3 hyphen vnv. As we are using Debian, so we will be using apt command to install these packages. Now move to the terminal, run sudo apt update. This command will update your repository's index. Now run apt sudo apt install python 3 python 3 hyphen pip python 3 hyphen vnv hyphen y and hit enter. So depending upon your internet speed, it may take a minute or two. In case you are using RHL based distribution, so you have to use yum or dnf command in place of apt and the rest of the command will remain the same. So for RHL based system, you need to run these commands sudo space yum update hyphen y and then sudo space yum install and these python packages. Okay. Next step is to create a virtual environment. So it is highly recommended to have a virtual environment for your Python projects. Okay, let's create a folder first using mkdir command. Now go to this folder. Now create a virtual environment. For that, run this command python space hyphen n v n v and sgpt sgpt is your uh, virtual environment name and v n v is our module so we are using v n v module to create this virtual environment with the name sgpt so copy this command okay now we need to activate this virtual environment for that run the command source space sgpt slash bin slash activate so this will activate my virtual environment now install the cell gpt module here for that run pip space install space cell hyphen gpt so this cell gpt will be installed only in this uh, virtual environment. So hit enter. Okay. The output confirms that cell GPT has been installed successfully in our virtual environment. Now move to the next step. Next, we need to get the open AI API keys. For that, we need to visit this URL platform.openai.com. Create an account if you don't have one. Once you are logged in, you will get the screen something like this. Click on the API keys and then click on create new secret key. Give the name of your API key. Let's say Linux API key and select the project. So I'm going with the default project. 
क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट सीक्रेट की कॉपी दिस की एंड स्टोर इट समेयर सेफ इन योर सिस्टम वंस यू क्लिक ऑन डन यू कॉन्ट गेट or you can't retrieve these keys Let's say i want to save it here click on done define your open api key using a variable open ai underscore api underscore key like this so you need to replace your open ai key here so in my case this would be the command so we are defining the variable and exporting it using export export command hit enter in order to define this variable permanently so that every time whenever a user logged in on this terminal so this variable should be exported automatically so in that case we need to define this variable under the base rc file enter okay now verify the uh, cell gpt version for that run the command as gpt okay we are running a cell gpt version 1.4.3 now move to the most interesting part how we can query and in start interacting with the chat gpt using a cell gpt command line for that let's say i want to get a procedure how to create a vnet pairing using easy command for azure cloud for that type sgpt and in double quotes specify your query hit enter great we have the steps the first step is to log in uh, perform an easy login and then use easy network vnet peering command to create the vnet peering great now uh, we want to see what are the different options i can use in this sgpt command for that you can run sgpt iphone iphone help okay so there are other options that we can use like cell code okay. let's say i want to generate a code in the form of a cell script i want a cell script that will take the backup of all the important configuration files in linux if you copy this command let's say all important network configuration files in linux so hyphen hyphen code will write the code and will display that code on our terminal great you can see we have this the cell script that will take the backup of network configuration files in a linux system let's say i want to generate the code as well as i want to execute it on the fly in that case we can use hyphen hyphen shell option let's try this example this will create and execute a cell script which will count the files and the directories in current uh, slash home slash linux tucky folder so hit enter now it is prompting you whether you want to execute describe or abort this code let's say i want to execute type caps e hit enter and there you have so we have the files and and the and the directories that is currently there in the slash home slash linux tucky folder so to deactivate or come out of this virtual environment type deactivate command okay 
incidental okay as you can see we came out from the virtual environment let's say i want to connect it again and i want to use the sgpt commands for that you need to run first you need to make sure you are into the sgpt folder that you have created initially and then run source the folder name and then bin activate okay we are into the virtual environment now you can again start using your sgpt that's all from this video tutorial i hope you have found it useful and informative please like the video and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials like this bye have a nice day